Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining to your English class. For tonight, we have a new versicle. We have to read this one. And um, we are going to begin. Well, let's see. We have Matthew 7, 12. Matthew 7, 12. So, whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophet. One more time. Matthew 7, 12. So, whatever you wish that others will do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophet. Okay, pay attention. I don't know if you remember, but previously uh, we were talking another values. Um, no, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you remember about um the value for respect the value for respect this is like respect previously do you remember we were talking about respect uh like to be uh respectable or to ha to have respectable with uh somebody else and we have another another um another value previously like self control you remember self control okay we can uh we can think about this respect self control but in this case we have like a mixing for these words it's self respect self respect is like to say respect to myself respect to myself self respect Okay, um, pay attention because it is in Matthew 7, 12 that we have in the English Standard Version. So whatever you wish that others will do to you, do also to them. For this is the Lord and the prophet. Pay attention because in this time, we are and um, these uh, these are from these are words from Jesus, and Jesus is saying to us this. He uh, he uh, he, uh, he is uh, teaching to us how to 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 be with another person, but in this case, thinking about is not like revenge, is not is not like a vendetta, is not like this. It's like to say, it's like to say, well, I respect you. I respect you. Please respect me. If I respect you, so please you respect me. Self-respect in this case, self-respect. If we are in self-respect, I can respect another one to respect to my um to my brother to respect to my sister to respect to my wife to respect to my husband to respect to my parents i at first i have to respect to myself okay well that's going to be all about the versicle for to, for tonight and now we are going to um to look for the next reading uh well i'm i'm preparing something like a, a challenge for you uh, but we have a first to finish all these this material um for for today we are going to go over that terrible mistake okay pay attention because we are going to work in that terrible mistake well uh, for tonight, I need a volunteer for making this reading, uh, the first part. Who wants to read this part for tonight? Okay, Edgardo, come on. Okay, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, come on. Okay. This is a true story. It happened in a long time ago in 1965. John and Bill were good friends. They both had a child, children, I'm sorry, who went to the same child care. That is the correct pronunciation, child care? Child care, that's correct. Okay, child care center. On Saturday, there was a working 
B, at the shelter center, many of the fires, when they help paint the building, they needed some more paint, be said, I'll go and get the paint. The bill realized his car was blocked, blocked by other park, parked cars. John said, use my car, here are the keys. Uh, only that. Continue. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Give me only a second. Okay. A uh, bill drove to the hardware store in Young's car. It was a white boss with, mm, I don't know, pronunciation with this word. Yeah, it, it's like in, remember, it is a word that comes from German. This is German. It's a German word. You are going to say like in Spanish, Volkswagen. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Volkswagen. He bought the paint, came out of the hardware store and got into the white Volkswagen and he drove back to the child care center. Okay, thank you so much, Edgardo. Well, let's, let's see. Do you remember uh, one word, Edgardo? Building. The building. Okay. Bil building. Building. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Well, um, okay, everybody, I have a question for you. Uh, what is the meaning or what we think when we um, read in this text, working B? What is the meaning for a working B? Tell me, what is the meaning for a working B for you? Okay, somebody knows or uh, somebody can say something about what is a working bee? We, we don't work. Uh, can be, can be uh, uh, this sentence, uh, this word has a reference with the animal, the bee? No. <laughs> with the insect, no. maybe, maybe yeah. it's, but, but it's not literal. It's not li literal. Can I can Spanish como abeja trabajadora, como que trabaja en algo, no? Okay. May, cl is, close to or, or no? <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, this is an idiom. This is an idiom. Remember, it's an idiom. It's, it's an idiom. Uh, working B is not literal. It's it's not literal. We can think. Okay, uh, maybe a B. Okay, the insect is 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 an insect working, but it's in a, it's an idiom. In this case, uh, we can say it's like um, to working to working like a volunteer. To working like a volunteer. This is working B. The reference can be the working hard? No, Probably. it's not for working hard. No, okay. it, is, it is working for free. It's to do something to help to another one. Okay. But okay. no one doing nothing for free, teacher. Okay, in Spanish, we can say un trabajo voluntario. I working for free. Okay. Well, in uh, why we are talking about this? Because uh, the man, the man, or maybe uh, who, who is um, uh, telling this history to us says there was a working bee in the shield shield care center. Many of the fathers went to help. Painting the building went to help. Okay, that means okay. We have um we have children. So I have uh, children. I have many children, for example, and they go to a shield care center. But in this time, 
people in this place need to paint the place, need to paint the place, to paint the building uh, for looking uh, better, for looking better, okay? And they, they need volunteers to paint, to paint for free. They are going, you're not going, they are, well, these people are not going to, to, um, to gain money. They are not going to pay for that, for that uh, tax. It's, it, they are going to do that for free, like a volunteer, like a volunteer. Okay, we can say working B in this case is like trabajo voluntario in Spanish. Okay, well, um, I think is the is is an idiom. Remember, it's an idiom, and we have to express. The, in this case, it's an it's a little uh, it's a kind of animal animal. Well, they, there are insect is like insect idiom we can find many insect another another insect idioms uh well uh let's go to the the next part i need another another one i need another one a student to make the uh to continue with the with the reading who wants to practice english for tonight Somebody else to read this this text. Okay, hello. Don't be shame. Who want to practice? Tell me. Maybe me. Okay, come on, Soila. Thank you. One second, please. One second. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm still working, so I need to find a conference room too, so I can see and read. Uh, okay. No. Uh, okay. When Bill arrived at the center, John looked worried and say, "That's not my car. My car hasn't got blue seat covers. This is wrong, a uh, butt bucket." Quickly, Bill go into the car and drove back to the um, hardware. Hardware? I said it right? Hardware? Yes, hardware. That's hardware. A store. When he arrived, he saw a lady standing on the footpath. She looked very upset. When she saw Bill in her car, she looks angry. Bill parked the car and explained, I'm so sorry, I took the wrong car by mistake. I was using my friend's car. I took the same and the kit um, fit. Um, um, look, there is my friend with the white baggage. Um, when the lady saw the other white baggage, she stopped um, being angry. Uh, she was uh, realized her car was no stolen. Everyone was very surprised that the same key fits in both cars. Do you think the same key will be fit two cars today? Okay, thank you so much, Soila. Great zone. Well, and now we have to to do some exercise about this reading. Okay, did you get in, according to the reading, uh, there is a big mistake, there is a, a big trouble because it's a mistake uh, for some, some uh, similar cars. Well, we have to say true or false, you are going to help me. At first, John and Bill were good friends. Okay, that is true. Bill, Bill had no children, what do you think? Is true or false? False. It's false. Mm, well, I think so maybe I, I didn't hear the first part. I'm sorry. So okay, I'm, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> no worries. Uh, um, try to thinking about this. We are talking about uh, like a die care, like a die care in this case, the shield uh, center, the shield mm -hmm. care center. And 
I think John and Bill and uh, now maybe they now uh, in in this place. That means John and Bill are maybe fathers. They are fathers or or and and they have children. They 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 must have children because remember the fathers. All the fathers go to the um, to the building to paint. I think that it's true because if they are in this place is because they they are fathers they are fathers so it's true then it's true that's correct well let's go to the next the children were painting the shelter center mm, the children were painting no because that's the parents right okay the I, the the fathers in the case or all the fathers Oh, fathers. Oh, okay. Only, only the fathers. Well, let's go to the next. Uh, June's car was a white Volkswagen. True. It's true. true. Okay, very nice. And what about the next? Bill, go paint at the grocery store. No, phone call. It's false. He goes to a hardware store. That is like to say an iron monger, hardware store, or maybe an iron mongers. We are going to say in Spanish, ferretería. Okay. Well, go to the next. That two, that two Volkswagen are the same color. True. It's true. Okay. John's car had blue covers. False. False. Okay, that's false. The lady's car was stolen. Oh. It's false. It's just oh, a mistake. Right? Okay, that is that is false. It's not stolen. It, it, it's true that that um, mm. Bill Bill go with an, with her car, but not stolen. It's just a, a mistake. Just he he do something in a wrong way. Well. The same key hit both car. True. True. It's true. Okay. Well, very nice. Uh, let's see. And what do you think? Tell me. Uh, everybody, <laughs> tell me. Do you think? What do you think about this? The same key will fit two new cars today. But remember, probably yes, but I don't think so. Above the technology, I don't think so. They can fit any car. Okay, it couldn't be true in, in nowadays. Remember, we are talking about. Uh, Bye, you guys. Have a good night. We are going to talk about uh, a, a Volkswagen Beetle. This is a Volkswagen Beetle from 1965. It's a little old. It's a little old. Okay, it's yes, maybe. It may, it's a classic car. It's a classic car now. Well, let's go to the next part. Uh, just wait me. I'm going to take the screenshot for you. Okay, there you see. And go to the next part. We have to order. Um, in this case, order this. This uh, the answers. Okay, where did the thorough mistake happen? What do we have to say here? Tell me. The correct order. It. It's happening in. In 1965. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, go to the next. Where was the working bee? In the center. It was at the children center. Okay. Ch uh, children care. Okay. Thank you so much. Like at that, uh, 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 a daycare. Daycare, right? Like mm -hmm. a daycare. It's the same. Remember, this is a daycare. And remember, we say work, working bee. This case is trabajo voluntario. 
to help him to help him to uh to do um something good for others well uh like charity maybe uh what did bill need to buy he need need it buy paint okay go to the next where did he buy the paint Hello, tell me what we have, what is the correct order for this? Remember the structure for the past simple tense. At first we have to use the subject. What is the subject in this case? He. He, okay. And then? About. The bird, okay. He about it. It no at about it at the, okay thank you so much at the store uh, uh, no, uh, the hardware store hardware store okay very nice good um go to the next whose car did he use whose car did he use his friend. Okay, but we have to make in this. It's correct, but for he, the sentence he, he, he used John's car. He used John's. Okay, John's car. Go to the next. How did that lady feel when he cars was gone? She felt upset. Excellent. Okay, remember subject bird and a compliment. The next, how did the lady feel when Bill took her car back? She, she felt released. Really, really 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 okay. Relieve it, not relieve it. Relieve it. Okay, relieve it. Correct. Um, the last one. Why was everyone surprised? Because uh, both same car kids fit. Let's say, okay, well, uh, and tell me, what do you think about Volkswagen Beetle? It's uh, expensive, expensive, it's an expensive car, or maybe it's a cheaper car. I believe it's cheap. Okay. It's cheaper. It's cheap. Okay, that's correct. It's a cheaper car. It's a cheaper car. Well, and why is a cheaper car? Okay, because um, Adolf Hitler says to Ferdinand Porsche, Hey, I want a car for every for every German. I need a car for every German. I don't want it that Germans go to the public transport like a bus or maybe like a train. I want that um, that every German can can have a car. And then uh, comes the the little the little car. Well, um, very nice, but there is something more for this exercise. But in this time, we have to write sentences and we have to make this 
puzzle. Well, uh, this little sub, but uh, for for this time, this is gonna be a homework, a homework for you. Um, please try to send your homework uh, to me, um, making five sentences using this word angry, feeling happen, uh, both and upset. And uh, uh, it's not necessary uh, according to the, the history, it could be for another one uh, sentences uh, about something else. And then you are going to make this to find all these words in this puzzle. Uh, okay, but this is gonna be a homework. Um, let's see, I need to practice with you. I need to practice conversation. <coughs> okay, and uh, tell me, I need two students, one to be John and the other one will be Bill. Tell me, okay, Edgardo. Edgardo, you are John. Somebody else? I need to hear. Okay, Victor, you will be Bill. I need somebody to be the store <coughs> assistant. I would love to do it, but I don't know if you can give me a second or someone can be volunteer because by now I'm driving, so I have to pull over. <coughs> okay, no worries, no worries. Continue driving, no worries. Somebody else to be a store, um, Damaris, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see, John Bill. I need one more to be the lady. I need a lady to be the lady. <coughs> Tell me, what about you, Genesis? Can you help me? Yes. Okay. Let's see, we are going to practice. I need your participation. The rest, pay attention. Okay, let's begin in with the first part. Come on. Okay, teacher. We need some more paint. You go and hit some. Use my car, here are the keys. Okay, thanks. Can I help you? It like this thing of space, please. How much is it? That thirty four sixty five. Thanks very much. That no, my car, my car hasn't got blue seat cover. This is the wrong Volkswagen. I'm so sorry. I looked the wrong car by mistake. I was housing my friend's car. It looked the same of the cave fitting. There's my friend's car hooked out there. Oh, wait, a ripple. I thought my car was stolen. What the surprise that your K is in my car. Okay, thank you to Edgardo, Victor, Damaris, and Genesis. Okay, just one little thing. Remember about this pronunciation. Uh, it's key, key. We, we don't have to use the, the e, 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 like epsilon, key, just key. Key, the keys. Here are the keys. My key, my key car. Okay, come on, Edgardo, tell me. Yes, uh, with that word, I have a mistake with the pronunciation because I have an embarrassing moment because I remember when I say key, usually uh, sometimes I my pronoun is keys. For that reason, you, uh, yeah, 
I changed the, the pronunciation with that word. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no worries. This is a common, it's a common mistake when we are uh, Latin people. It's a common mistake like to say case, but remember it's key, key. And remember we use this word too. For example, uh, in the computer, we have the key, keyboard. It's not keyboard, it's key, keyboard, key. Okay, uh, there is um, this word we have uh, to, to pay attention uh, to Victor with the word key. Key, keys, okay. And well, uh, for the Maris, in this case, you say the correct, uh, in the correct form, uh, 30, we can say per 30, or maybe it could be Perry, Perry with a schwa, Perry, Perry for 34, it's correct in the same. But there is something important because there is the, the, the dollar sign. That's thirty-four dollars, thirty-four sixty-five cents. In this case, is is not uh, a wrong uh, a wrong quantity. We can say it uh, is in the first part. For the first part, we can say it is thirty-four dollars and sixty-five cents. Okay, like this, that, that, and we say 34, $34 dollars and 65, 65 cents okay, for make a complete. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, I always confused when they say 50 and 15. Like, how can I, um, because every single time when I say 50, then people say, oh, 15. But like, how can I make the difference when I pronounce? Because all the time I made that mistake. Okay. Um, well, for, for you, Soya, like I, I want... 50 <laughs> Yes, I, I get you. I get your, your, your problem. Uh, we have to thinking about the pronunciation for the two words. For example, we have 50. If we, we go to dictionary.com to look for the pronunciation, it's, 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 it's better for you to remember this. Uh, for example, um, what is the correct pronunciation for this? Okay, for the first part, you are going to use a sound like E, fit, fit. It's short. It, es como una I del español, pero muy corta. I, 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 fifth. And then you are going to use for this T. This is like a long, it's like a long, fifth, 50, 50. In the other case, if we go to the, to the other uh, quantity, for example, if we take a look for this one, and we go, to the pronunciation of fifth, 15. Okay. You know the, the difference. Look, look uh -huh. at the difference. You are the n. You is 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 the same. Is the same. Pay attention. Is the same for this. Is the same for this. What is the difference? Just an n. It's just an n zone. 50, 15, 50, 15. What is the difference? Oh, okay. Just the N. And 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 you have to, to make more emphasis when you are going to say this, you have to make more emphasis in the N. Okay, okay I got it. And what about um um 13, 30, 13 and 30? Like is any different? It's it's a similar case. For example, if we go to thirty, okay, sorry, thirty and thirteen, it's similar. But uh, for thirty, we have two pronunciation. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
I think it's, it's easy, this, this is easy uh, for, for explain because um, here we have TH, TH, then er, 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 the er son, third, third, 13. Okay, it's similar. Remember, all the teens sound like this. Ten, ten, es la, la, y larga. Ten, e, 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 13. Okay, but what is happening with the other one? In this case, we have maybe a different pronunciation. Uh, this one is, is a similar. Third, 30, 30. Es similar, es casi el mismo caso. Lo que cambia entre esos dos es la, la agregación de esta N, pero el sonido es bastante parecido. Pero no se nos olvide que este tiene otra pronunciación que vamos a ver si aparece aquí más adelante. Eh, es esta que está acá, que es cuando la cenamos más como, como que fuera un schwa. Perry, Perry, sin hacer tanto el sonido de la R. Yeah. 30. Perry, 30, Perry. Las dos son correctas. Well, time is over. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I don't Thank have you, more teacher. time. Thanks to you. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good one and take care. Goodbye, Goodbye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Megan. Bless you, everybody. Thank you so much.